big plans today, Benny? Uh, another day in paradise. To, uh, yeah, just another day living the dream. Some Call of Duty today. Yep. What's your kill death ratio? Uh, hanging around like two point five to three. You know. Sure about yep. that. All right. Check my stats. Yeah, you put in the hours, so I believe you. Hey, no. You're Calgary's prospect, right? What do you know about Calgary? <laughs> it's cold. A lot of Swedes. A lot of Swedes, yeah. and then they love the rodeo. Really? Yeah. The rodeo? It is Wednesday, um, home from the rink. We have practice today and one, one more positive COVID test. So tomorrow we should have a game. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think that one is canceled. That we should have a game on Saturday. Don't think that's gonna happen. And the next Tuesday, not sure about that one either. So the next uh, for sure game, is gonna be next week Saturday, so another week and a half break from games. Ah, I guess it's gonna be a two week break from since we, the last time we played. But uh, yeah, just kind of put in some work again and trying to keep that level that I came back from the break and just you know try to take advantage of all the practice time we can get. But today was a great mail day. Uh, first of all, I got the whoop. 4.0 came in the mail. So what it pretty much is, is a like activity tracker with sleep tracking, gives you kind of a daily strain numbers and uh, recovery numbers. So I'm very excited to use this. I've had the Aura Smart Ring for sleep before, but this one is something I can wear on the ice on my blocker hand, kind of get accurate ratings throughout the day, throughout my night, just kind of see where we're at. So um, very excited about this one. I ordered it three months ago. They were very backed with the new new product and it finally came in. So I uh, was able to wear that stuff on the ice today already. So I'll toss up the, whatever my numbers were from the, from the skate today. So uh, yeah, very fired up about the Woo. But another thing is from a little box from Crosscheck clothing so they are a UK hockey clothing brand so a little exotic for hockey since it's UK uh, they sent me some goodies bunch of stuff here first of all nice gray snapback looks big so it actually might fit my head I've got a big head a little beanie still cold in Sweden so this one's perfect love the color the purple shorts Almost time to wear shorts, hopefully. And uh, another winter hat, gray one. Home is where the ice is. That's been very true this season. I think this is the last thing. Little sweatshirt. Oh, I like this. I like the old school, the, the lettering. I like the colors. Big shout out to Crosscheck Clothing. Sending me all this stuff, really appreciate it. For the rest of the day, I got nothing. I think I'm gonna run to the grocery store at some point. And then, and then is a good question. I think probably some movies and piano and uh, I'll probably get back to my vision training rhythm and but that's it. Just got back from the grocery store, got some stuff here. Um, Talking to Fox on the phone. Fox, where are you? Uh, it is already nine o'clock, so it's late one. Just whipped up some dinner. Uh, some vegan kebab, rice, some good sauce, salad. And I have to put my cooking skills to use again that, now that Whitney's not here. And It is Friday, I just got back from the rink. Um, Tuesday's game is canceled. Obviously tomorrow's game is canceled. The next three days are off. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday off from the rink. I got nothing to do. I know some guys are staying here, so just gonna try to just probably spend as much time with them as possible. I'm just making some coffee here since I got home. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan that this much time off. Gonna probably go play some paddle, maybe even go see the new Spider-Man movie this weekend. Um, yeah, so just a lot of, a lot of time to kill. So I'm gonna drink my coffee, um, sit on the couch, 
make some plans for the weekend. So that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. Hey, special guest. You special guys, guest. You guys ready for vegan tacos? Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, come here. Hey, Ramos. Uh, How is it? It's good. It's, it's okay. Just okay. warning you, you might no, feel, it's perfect. You might feel good time, tomorrow. First time vegan tacos. Nice. It's nice. No scraps for Ramos? No. Maybe later. Yeah, maybe later. Maybe later. Now we're talking. She's staying on track, that's good. All right, we've graduated to Formula One. How does this one feel? Oh, it's hard. I think I was, maybe a couple of years uh, after uh, yeah, one year or something, I can be in a pro. A pro. Yeah, maybe after Real hockey. Formula One, I don't know. Yeah, maybe after hockey, this could be a new job. Yeah. Oh, we got that on camera. Perfect. Good morning, and um, it is day one of our three days off. And we have a paddle matchup scheduled in a couple hours with uh, Ekberg, who was here last night, uh, Max Verano and Ben Thomas. So me and Max are trying to hold up the, hold the championship. But someone asked in a couple videos ago of who is my favorite goalie growing up and stuff like that and um, it's pretty fitting that this morning I'm watching last night's Henrik Lundqvist jersey retirement ceremony and this is this is pretty cool to watch it's like a 50 minute video I found on YouTube growing up um, took a trip to New York and watched Henrik play in Madison Square Garden and then uh, probably 10 years later 11 years later I was called up with the Leafs, so we had a game at Madison Square Garden, and um, you know it was pretty special to get to skate out on the ice during warmups. And Longquist is right there on the other side of the red line, so uh, that was probably the coolest part about being called up that that whole trip. Just just uh, seeing Longquist and just the kind of aura he had about himself. So uh, that was very special. Looking forward to the Pekarina one coming up here soon for, for Nashville and his jersey retirement. So, a lot of goats going up in the rafters this year. Early the next morning. Ready to do this? Let's go skiing. You can't say that. <laughs> I have to bleep that out. Um, so day off number two on the weekend, and we're going skiing with Mr. Ben Thomas. When's the last time? Last time was like two we going? years ago. But you're snowboarding. I'm snowboarding. Got a little bit of snow. Hardcore. This place is huge though. Yeah, it's big. Alright, Black Diamond first. Yeah. To warm up, yeah. <laughs> it's buzzing over here. Ready to go? Ready. We're gonna make it down alive, right? Uh, That's a big deal. To be determined. <laughs> We're gonna look good doing it at least.
Day's done. Four hours of skiing. You're gonna be sore tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Alright, so it was a good day, good weather. Um next up some sushi, right? Yep. Yeah, let's go get some sushi before we go home. It's Monday, finally back to practice tomorrow. I got my Power Vision Power Egg X drone, and me and Benny are gonna go fly it out. It's super nice out today, so just gonna try to get some fresh air, spend the day. Later tonight, I'm gonna do some coaching for young goalies here in Lexington. So, um, yeah, just trying to fill up my day and, and get some fresh air and stay active. Doesn't seem to be. It's a little laggy, no? I wouldn't get too close <laughs> if it charges at us. Okay, there we go. So the drone just had a mind of its own. Ben took his thumbs off the sticks and it <laughs> flew right into the tree by itself. That's, that's where the drone is right now. Um, yeah. You think we should just say RIP and move on to the next thing? <laughs> Dude, we gotta get it down somehow. Like, what did it say? Like, automatic, the, the series started talking. Return, was... return to your original place. And this wasn't where we started, though. <laughs> 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 like, we were all the way here somewhere. And then it just took off and right in there. It's just where it thinks it lives. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. There it is. <laughs> no! <laughs> he got stuck yeah. there too. Yeah. We got it down. Program. Fell to the ground, but it's still running. Got a couple minor injuries to it. Nothing that a little hockey tape won't fix. Back home from a very unsuccessful drone flying uh, episode, but there was mail for me at the rink, uh, and I just opened it up. It was a Leafs jersey with number 50 and Kaskasua. There's not too many of these jerseys around, so I got this in the mail. We got a note from Frederick to uh, sign it, ship it back, and big shot of Freddie since um, the sh Return shipping was paid for, the bag is here, so I can just sign it, back it up, chop it at the post office, and it's on its way to Timro. So, we'll sign this jersey. Uh, big thanks to Freddie for the support. You gotta be a diehard fan to get, get one of these jerseys, but let's sign it. I mentioned this a couple videos ago, but if you want anything signed, anything you want to sh send me to be featured on the vlog or anything like that, um, Google the address for the Guerra Arena and send it to Lexens EF CC my name and make sure to have the return shipping taken care of. So it's a quick and easy process.